I am Elizabeth McFarland. Uh, I'm 26 years old. I work at Sifu Springs Ministry. I really like Alpha and Omega. He will see my faith and my salvation through to the end. So I see him face to face. Um, so he is my beginning and my end. And, and that's why um, I enjoy that name. my beginning and my end, that when I wake up, he is there. When I go to sleep, he is there. Um, and it pushes me um, to just praise him all day long. Yeah. That's, my, that's my name. I like yeah. My name is Gary Kaufman. I am a junior now in Louisiana Tech in kinesiology, studying to be a physical therapist one day. The name of God that resonates with me the most is the Alpha and Omega, um, simply because he is the beginning and the end. But I think that's really neat because he, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, and the, he says that I am the beginning and the end. And so the Alpha and Omega were the Greek beginning of the alphabet and the Greek end of the alphabet. And it was as if they were saying, he was using the alphabet, it was as if Jesus was saying, I am the language that you use to get to God. Through me is the only way you get to God. Through my Alpha and my Omega and the, and the uh, letters in between. Alright, so my name is Raven Francois. I am, I am a Jute, no, that's a lie, I'm a senior at Louisiana Tech University. And I hope to one day be a teacher. I have always had a passion working with kids and um, I felt like God's called me to express that passion through teaching, hopefully in middle school and upper elementary. I think the one that from like this week that we're gonna be learning is Jehovah Jireh, just because the, which means the Lord who provides um, that because I, because just growing up I grew up in a single family home and um, you when you when you grow up in a single family you often see your parents struggle through a lot of things and um, just money wise or just not having time for themselves and the Lord who provides he provides um, just opportunities and he helps you through those tough times and so he provided for my family when we needed it the most. So yeah. No. My name is Amanda Labuddy and I am a sophomore at Louisiana Tech University. I am a biology major and I am hoping to go into dental school and go into orthodontics. The name of God that resonates most with me would be Jehovah Jireh because which means the Lord which means the Lord will provide. Um, the reason that is, is because, um, especially over this past year, God's had to provide a lot for me with me moving off to college and um, has provided me with some really good friendships once I, like, I just started praying for friendships before I even moved. And he provided me some really great friendships. And um, it's just, a, it's a comforting feeling knowing that um, God will provide anything that I need, no matter what's going on, and um, He will always, you know, during any struggles that I have, He will provide a way for me to overcome them, no matter what is going on. Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm a recent graduate of Louisiana Tech University. Uh, I graduated in Family and Child Studies, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my life yet. Um, the name of God that I chose is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Uh, the reason I chose this name is because um, I've been a lot of places in my life and no matter where I go, I know that God is always with me. Uh, no matter what I'm struggling with or what I'm going through, I know that He'll always be there for me. And I'm in this stage in my life right now where I'm not real sure what I'm going to do next. And uh, it's scary um, and, and nerve-wracking and stressful, but I know that no matter what I do, that God will always be there for me and that I can always trust and rely on Him no matter what the situation is. Thank you. Thank you. So
Paul. Um, my name is Paul Young. Um, I am. I just finished Delta Community College. I will be starting Grand Canyon University in the fall for youth ministry. Uh, I think Emmanuel because um, it's, it's God with us. You know, God's never gonna leave us. Um, we we all go through situations, um, but He's never gonna leave your side. He's gonna be there for you. And uh, I think that's what um, in my lifetime that has helped me a lot because God is always there for me, and uh, He's never gonna leave. I'm Mary Kate McFarlane. I am a lifeguard here at Seeker Springs. I just graduated from Louisiana Tech. I usually like to think of Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us and that really makes it comforting to me because I know that all during my life, through my highs and lows, God will be with me when I'm either I mess up, when I do something great for him. I just know he will be with me all the time. And that's really just, like I said, comforting. Uh, my name is Sagan, he's Elf. And uh, I'm the guys team leader here at Secret Springs this summer. And I'm finishing up my master's degree at Louisiana Tech University. The name of God that resonates most with me is I Am. Um, you know, in the Bible, God tells us simply, I am who I am. And, and really, that's so powerful because the only way that we can really fully describe God is, is with himself. The words that we've made to define who it, God is and, and what God is, um, they just don't do him justice. Any, anything that we can come up with to describe God, it's not good enough. It only takes a small part of who God actually is. And so... God is so much more than our, our words can comprehend. It's so much more than we can think. And so um, because God is so great and so magnificent and so wonderful and so gracious, um, the only way that we can really understand who he is um, is the way he describes himself. I am who I am. Um, and and that's, that's the best that we can, we can possibly hope to understand or comprehend. My name is Molly Bryan. I just finished my freshman year of Delta, and my favorite color is blue. I have to say the Lamb of God because the Lamb was Jesus. Um, he was the sacrificial Lamb that died for the whole world. My name is Nathan Coker, and I am from Africa. I would have to say that the God, God's name, the name of God, that resonates with me most is El Elyon because being raised in Africa and traveling all the time, going to school in California, having family here, I travel a lot because my family's spread out and my friends are too. And it's just whenever I'm traveling and busy and getting to know new people and all of that, it's hard to remember sometimes that God is the Most High. It's hard to remember to put Him first, but that's something that's always coming back to me. It's always, always there a reminder to put God first because people come and go. And we just need to remember that God is the Most High. He's the most holy, and we need to put him first in everything. Uh, I'm Sarah Cox. I go to Louisiana Tech University. My major is elementary education, and I am in community. Uh, the name of God that resonates most with me <laughs> is King of Kings because it reminds me of God's power and might and reminds me of all the glory that he 